All right, in this video, we are going to talk about Focus's Check Viewer, which can be a very powerful tool. With proper rights, managers can view every check ever entered into the Focus system, assuming you are keeping all your historical data. And from here, you can reprint guest checks or even email guest checks directly to a customer if they by chance lost their guest check or they just need a copy for their work expenses or something like that. But it can be a lot more powerful than just printing and emailing guest checks. So let's just take a quick look at the check viewer and I'll show you how to use it and what you can see from it and a couple little hidden features that you may or may not know about. So to access the check viewer, you just hit the the word check up here in the top left hand side of the on screen guest check and that's going to take you to the check viewer which will give you access to all the checks that you can see so if you're a server you'll probably only see your checks if you're a bartender you might see everybody's checks and if you're a manager or everybody's bar checks and if you're a manager you may or may not be able to see all the checks in the restaurant for that day Okay, so it's going to default to show you only your open checks because those are probably the checks that you would access the most. But if you hit this question mark up here, you can toggle between all your open and closed checks so that you can see all my open checks and closed checks for the entire day. Okay, and I can sort these by check number, time, open, closed, dollar amount, uh, table number, or server if I want to. Okay. You can use the uh, page up and page down buttons here if you want to go through them that way. Or like I showed you just a second ago, you can scroll. Whatever is easier for you works for us. Uh, down here in the bottom left-hand side, you'll see the number of checks for the day or that you're viewing. And one thing to notice here is that you can see I only have 30 checks here. But you can see that I'm on check 35. So you might think, what the heck happened to five checks? Well, you can see this gap here between check 32 and 35. So it appears that we're missing check 33 and 34. But the way that focus counts checks is as soon as you place an item on an empty check, it's going to create that check number. So I just put a crone on this check, and so now I've created check 36. If I delete that item and don't put anything on the check and I leave the screen, we're just going to mark that as an unused check for the day. So that now the next check that I'm going to open is going to become check number 37. And this will happen probably almost every single day. So it's typical that if you look at all your open and closed checks, and you might only have, or even on your reports for that matter, um, you might only have 31 checks, but you might go up to check number 37. Or you might have 300 checks, but you might be on check 330. Because if a customer comes in and says, how much is a Corona? And you say, it's $4. And they say, OK, I just wanted to know. Now we've just marked that as an unused check. OK, so tomorrow in our guest checks, we're not going to see number check 38 used yesterday. The next check is going to be check 39. And this question will come up. Uh, at some point for all dealerships and all customers. They'll, they'll always wonder this and then you just show them and explain them to them exactly how it works and you can actually do a find on those. You see here we have canceled checks. So if I click that and I hit OK, it will show me, if I click the detail here, it will actually show me all these unused checks that were never, they were started, but then nothing was ever entered on them. So you can show them that, and you can see these are all the missing checks that are not actually in, uh, in this list of active checks. So that's just one quick tip that you will want to take note of, okay? So it's going to give you a total number of checks your total dollar amount of what you're viewing. So if you don't have access to the entire restaurant's checks, you're not going to know the total dollar amount of sales. Uh, and then the total average. And you can actually make this disappear. So there's a job right that we say yes or no, display this information. So if you don't see this information, don't be alarmed. You just don't have the proper rights to view it. If you should have the proper rights to view it, then we just need to turn on a job right for you. So you might want to talk to your dealer, your local dealer about that. Okay, um, from here I can select any check and I can print or email that check. So I can hit print here. And our print options are current, so that would print my highlighted check here. Um, 
list would print a list of all the checks that I'm viewing and it would look similar to what you're looking at. I would say this check number with the with the dollar amount it would almost look just like this. It's going to print everything that you see in the list. If you hit all, it's going to print an actual guest check of all the checks you are viewing. So if you're a server and you're only looking at three checks, no problem and just hit all and it's going to print all three checks for you. Now if you're a manager and you hit all and you're looking at all the checks for the entire day, it's going to literally print all the guest checks and it's not a function that you can stop or cancel so you want to be really careful with this all button here uh, otherwise you're going to be wasting a lot of paper if you try to print every guest check uh, for a busy restaurant. Or I can go ahead and hit email and if I hit email I can just go ahead and type in an email address and hit send or hit enter and that's going to go ahead and send that guest check to me. Now one thing to know, I'm not going to send it because I don't need to copy that, but um, one thing to remember is the way that focus emails, and this is important to know for your customers, the way that we send out emails is every 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes we go and say do we have anything to send out and we send it out. Uh, if I just sent emails out two minutes ago, it's going to take 13 minutes for your customer to get that email. If I just sent, if I sent emails out 12 minutes ago, then your customer, your customer will receive that email in three minutes. So it's not an instant gratification thing. So just tell your customer, you know what, it could take up to 15 minutes for you to get this guest check. Be patient and they will get it, okay? It does require that you have a couple things set up in the back office, your SMTP settings and an email server, but assuming that you have that set up, it's real easy to email guest check. Okay, so you can print and you can email guest checks. What else can you do in the check viewer? Well, if you can hit this detail button here, and if you hit the detail button, you see the details of the guest check, just like if you were viewing it from here, right? Let's go ahead and pull that check up here, just like if you were viewing it here. But there's a couple more things that I can see in the check viewer. So if I hit detail and I highlight this check, I can actually touch the body of the check and it will tell me what time these menu items were sent. Okay, so Jay was the server who sent this entree salad at 516. It actually tells you the name of the person and it tells you the time that it was sent. You can see later on in the dining experience that we ordered some key lime martinis at 553. Okay, so this is going to give you some details on exactly when items were sent. So if customers complain about something taking too long or that their service was bad, you can come in here and you can get a general idea of how that service occurred. Okay, they came to the table, they ordered their salads, there was no beverages ordered right away, they put in their, you know, so you can just really get an idea of how your servers are managing their tables. From the top, we can actually look at what time this guest check was open. So Jay opened this table at 5.15 and then it was closed at 6.14. You can see where it was closed and you can see how many guests were on the ticket. So all the details, this is table 14, all the details of the check are up here in this header. If items were transferred or the check was transferred, if it was reopened, it would give you that time up here as well. Okay, And then down here in the bottom, we can get all our payment details. Okay, so this was on a visa, here's the tip, all that information. Okay, so you get a lot of extended details just from looking at the guest check in the check viewer. A couple other things that you can do is we can go to find. And in find, we can drill into our checks or we can filter down the checks to look for something. So let's say I want to look at all the checks today that were discounted. I just go ahead and I hit this discounted box here and I hit OK. And it will bring up every single check that has a discount on it. So you can see, now this one doesn't appear to have a discount, but down here you see there's two checks. So if I click on this check, now I can see this ice cream cake or limoncello cream cake was discounted. If I click on this check, we have an employee discount. And if we click on this check, we have another employee discount. So if I want to, I can go to find. And now let's say I wanted to look at all the discounted checks for a week. Well, it kind of seems like a hassle to look at you know Mondays and hit discounted and look through those checks so what if I want to see more than that well there's a little hidden feature here if I hit this italicized date it will bring me up another box so now I can search a date range so now I can search the 13th through 
through the 19th for all my discounted checks. And I go ahead and hit OK. And now I'm going to get all of them. Okay, so I can go ahead and just look through all these checks now. I can sort them by person if I want to. And just take a quick look at what's going on with these discounts. Some other things we can do here is we can find by check number, so we can go ahead and enter in a check number. We can search by employee, so we can take, a, you know, we can look at all the checks from Mike or from Tony or whoever. Uh, now we can search on all of these items, but one thing to remember here is if I select two things, this is going to include both of those in each check. Okay, so right now if I have the 13th and I'm looking for discounted and transferred checks, what I'm searching for here is checks that are both discounted and have a transfer on them. If I want to look for just transferred checks, I have to uncheck this. I can't select multiple things here. Okay, in this instance we're looking for checks on the 13th that were discounted, voided, transferred, and reopened all on the same check. So that's just something to remember. Uh, you can't really do multiple searches in, in the check filter or check viewer. Okay, you can search by menu item, payment, tax ID, payment account. And if you need a keyboard in here, you can go ahead and pop up this little keyboard here. Anywhere in focus that you see a little keyboard, you can go ahead and uh, pop that up. So any the payment account is going to be the only field that you're going to, to need that. Okay, so that is oh, one more thing here is that all of your check filters that you have set up in the back of the house can also apply to the check viewer. So I go ahead and I hit filter here and I want to look at all my checks that were close to cash and it's going to pop those up here. Okay, so we can go in here and I can go to find and I can look at my filters and I can say I want to look at all my bar checks. This particular <laughs> demo doesn't have any bar checks, but you, I think you get the point here. So that's one great thing. You can set up some filters. If, you, if you're constantly looking for different things and you always want to look at your checks, you can uh, create some filters that your managers will utilize on a daily basis. So it makes it easier for them to find those checks. But that is the check viewer. And like I said, it gives you a lot of great detail on what's going on in your restaurant, what's going on on all of your guest checks, and it gives you a way to sort of recreate the dining experience that your servers and bartenders are giving to your customers. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through a couple, or recap a couple important things in the check view, and then you can take a short quiz uh, when we're done to see what you learned.